the Oracle decode function. In this video, we'll look at the decode function in Oracle, which is used to perform an if-then-else logic in an SQL query. Let's take a look at some examples. For this example, we're going to use a table called customer detail. We've got the setup at the top here. We create the table with first name, last name, country, employees, and start date columns. I've then inserted a few records here with different people from different countries. Let's take a look at what's inside the table. You can see we have seven records here. We've got one with a null country, one with null employees, and one with a null start date, just to see how Decode handles that. So the first example we're going to look at is using the Decode function on the country value. We're going to select the first name and country, and then we're going to use the decode function. The decode function accepts a flexible number of parameters, but the simpler version is this. First, we specify the criteria to look at. In this case, it's the country column. So that's what we're going to look at. The second parameter acts like the if clause, which is the value USA. So it says, if the country value is USA, then do something. The third parameter is the then. So this means if the country is USA, then return the value North America. The three parameters here are the simplest version. So this example will display the first name, the country, and then the result of this decode function. Let's run the query. We can see here it displays the first name and the country. Then in the decode result column, for every row that had a country of USA, it displays North America. For everything else, it shows null. Now technically, while Canada is actually in North America, we didn't specify that as part of our function, so it hasn't returned that. In the second example, we'll add in some more parameters. We're going to run a similar query where we select the first name and the country. The first part of the decode function looks the same. Decode, we look up the country value, if it's USA, output North America. The next two parameters perform the same thing. It's another if clause. So if the country is UK, then return Europe. We don't need to specify the country value again because that is the first parameter. If we run this query, we can see it shows North America for all of the USA countries and Europe for everything marked as UK. Everything else is shown as null. What if we wanted to show something else instead of null? This third example will show us how to do that. It shows the same thing. Country of USA, then show North America. If it's UK, then show Europe. But then we have another parameter at the end called other. This is the else part of the if then else statement. If the country value doesn't match any of those criteria, either USA or UK, then output other. Now you might be wondering, how does the system know which parameters of these are the lookups, the if statements, and which ones should be used as then, and which ones as the else? It all depends on the number of parameters that you enter. In this example here, Oracle will work out that there's an odd number of parameters here, which is this word other that we've added to the end, and it will use that as the else. Once we run this query, we can see it shows the decode result as North America, other or Europe, depending on the value of country. This next example, we're adding a bunch of different parameters for each different possible value of country. So USA gets stored as North America, Canada goes to North America, UK goes to Europe and France goes to Europe. Everything else is shown as other, which you can see in the output here. So you can see that this function can get quite long. So that's how you can use the decode function in Oracle. If you want more information, you can click on the link here and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.